How to Draw Neck and Shoulders by Alexander Ryshkin. Very often, art students have challenges with drawing the shoulder girdle. In this video lesson, we will learn how to correctly connect a head with the neck and the neck with shoulders in portrait drawing. We can see on a model that the distance from the edge of the shoulder to the pit of the collarbone is equal to the distance from that spot to the pit of the neck. Because shoulders are symmetrical, the same would apply to the other shoulder as well. So, we can divide the total width of the shoulders into four equal parts in drawing. The two outlines of the shoulders point to one point at the top of the oval. This is the place of the seventh vertebra of the neck. In male models, the chin is usually on the same level as the seventh vertebra of the neck. The distance from the pit of the neck to the chin is equal to the distance from the chin to the base of the nose. This distance is also the same as from the trapezius muscle to the bottom of the ear. Here's this proportion on the model. The distance from the pit of the neck to the chin is the same as from the trapezius to the ear. These dimensions depend on the position of the head, whether it is turned up or down. Here is an important thing to know. The distance from the trapezius to the ear always stays the same while the distance from the pit of the neck to the chin can be bigger if the head is turned up or smaller when it's turned down. So you always need to keep the correct distance from the trapezius muscle to the ear in drawing. This will help to position a head on the neck with precision. At the lateral edge, the collarbone connects to the shoulder blade, the bony end of which is called the acromion. The cross contours of the trapezius muscle point to the lateral half of the collarbone. Then, we can mark outlines of the chest muscle and the two nipples, which gives us the W character of the chest. This character is inscribed by the edge of the shoulder, the nipple, and the pit of the neck, and then repeats on the other half of the chest. The virtual line of the symmetry of the chest points to the end of the breastbone. This is a very simple but solid construction that allows an artist to draw shoulders and chest with the necessary knowledge of volumes and proportions.